What's up guys, Nolan here, and today we're discussing something that I need to make sure that I describe correctly. This is something that based off of the evidence is likely what's going to happen to the point of artwork being created for it, but has a very real chance of getting completely scrapped before we even see it, and especially after we see it because of the problems that it can create. So this may or may not happen. I'll just give you guys the facts and let you make up your own mind. So I think BSG wants to blow our arms and legs off. Yep, I think the ability to lose limbs is at the very least being internally tested and possibly coming to the game at some point. This is based off of two things, the models of tourniquets and quick clots that we saw a while back and some recent goals of the team at BSG. Specifically when Nikita mentioned in a recent podcast that they want to add more gore to the game. On the low end, we're looking at some different graphics for when you get shot. Maybe if you get headshot, they'll get creative with the theatrics there for sure. And I think this is very likely what would happen. On the high end, we're looking at losing the ability to shoot with your normal hand because it got blown off. And for the realm of possibilities, we'd even be looking at at something like a full-blown Monty Python Black Knight, although I would think you would bleed out or go into shock before it gets that bad. This specifically is the speculation, but we'll talk about this more in a second. Then somewhere in between the two, we have significant new injuries and bleeds that require a tourniquet so that you don't bleed out. And this again, I also believe is likely to happen. So let's keep in mind BSG's current motto of as realistic as playable. I'm not sure if losing limbs fits in that category. So I am skeptical at the very least that we will be losing limbs in game anytime soon. But that could just be me trying to avoid the truth. If you shoot somebody in a limb with a shotgun slug or big buckshot or even hell just normal buckshot, they're gonna lose that limb. If a grenade goes off next to your leg, you're probably losing that leg. And then last but not least, landmines and explosives are confirmed as coming to the game. If you step on a big landmine, I think you'd be thankful to only lose one leg, if not just be completely torn to pieces. Whether the game actually shows these things happening physically, it's still what realistically should happen. So when we keep as realistic as playable in mind for this, I think what happens here is yes, you can get a limb blown off in raid, stop the bleeding with a tourniquet, then you will need to get back to your hideout to sew it back on or grow a new one, whatever the process is. Sure, that last part is not realistic, but it allows you to get punished for your mistakes while in raid and still be able to continue playing the game. You see what I'm saying there? It's the ability to not be completely screwed out of your character that would fulfill the playable part. Along with the new customizable rig system, we are supposed to be getting the new hitboxes as well. So the body hitboxes will distinguish between things that are and are not actually covered with armor. And then also the specific type of armor for a specific area. Examples being the torso will be split up. So if you're wearing a type of armor that does not cover under your arms, that area is gonna actually be open. Same thing goes for arm armor. Your bicep, forearm, and hand will be split up. And if it's not covered, it's going to get hit. This is confirmed as coming because it allows for armor to act correctly and as intended. So with hitboxes broken up correctly, that leaves room for amputation states. So if we follow what we've seen in the work in progress shots of tourniquets and listen to what Nikita has been mentioning when he says they want more gore, I don't know about you guys, but I would think limbs being blown off is pretty textbook gore to me. And that's why I've brought it up here. Now, do I think it is a good idea for the game? Hell no. All of the chads that lost their minds because they have to actually watch watch a bandage go around their arm and then again because they couldn't carry the equivalent of a small truck's worth of gear out of a raid with them will go absolutely ballistic with this. Unless they add a stem that grows back your limb or survival kits start packing cyborg prosthetics, I think that outrage is practically guaranteed to happen as well. Now do I personally think it's a good idea for the kind of game that I want to play? And actually again no, because I think it would send us back to the times before surgery kits and the feeling of hopelessness that you get from having a blacked limb, however I would like the chance to test it and see for myself what it changes. It absolutely would not be the first time I've been surprised by things I think would have been bad for the game. That's all for today, guys. I've been enjoying the discussions in the comments lately, so let me know what you think of this one. If you want to learn more about Escape from Tarkov or its development, then you can check out my playlist for it here. If you're looking for people to play with, then you can join our Discord below. If you like this video, then you know the drill. I really appreciate the people who do. Otherwise, I hope you at least learned something, and I also hope you have a nice day. See you guys.